Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, so I have a fun haul for you today. I have been to one of my favorite, favorite places at the moment and other stories. Seriously love their vibe, their styling, the pieces they're doing right now, the color palettes. Um, I'm just all over it. So I went there and I picked a few bits up and I, I wanted to do this slightly differently because instead of just showing you a bunch of stuff that I bought, I only actually got four things and I wanted to talk about them, but I also wanted to show you how I'm going to be styling them with the existing pieces in my wardrobe. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. Um, and then try them on, but try them on with a few different outfits and things that I already own, which I thought would be fun, a little bit different, and hopefully you guys like this style of haul. So let's talk about the pieces that I did pick up. I, I have to start with this bag because I, I just adore it. This is an amazing beaded uh, top handle bag. I am all about the top handle bags. I think they're so cool. The way you just sort of carry them around, hold them, you can pop them on your wrist if you want to, but I just love the way a little top handle bag looks, especially when it has these kind of rings. Um, and this one just jumped out to me because of the color. You guys know I love this amazing like rusty brown orangey color. And uh, the cool thing about this is that it's made up of lots of little beads. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see it. It's made up of all these tiny little beads, um, which are just almost a little bit see-through. Um, although I don't think I'm going to be losing anything. Maybe I should be putting earrings and stuff like that in here, but the holes between them aren't too bad. So maybe I'll put a little pouch inside this when I am carrying around smaller bits. I think it's also a perfect size. It's a really nice little bag. Some of you guys uh, actually pointed out the top handles are made of this like really cool acrylic, but they're almost a bit marbled. So they do look like they're tortoise shell. And we all know how I feel about that. So um, huge, huge love for this bag. I don't often shop um, for accessories in another stories. The jewelry is amazing, it's really good. But uh, when it comes to their accessories, I don't really have many pieces and I think this bag was the perfect first little addition. I could have rambled on about that for years, but let's start with some of the clothes. Now, the main reason that I wanted to pop into store was to pick up this blazer here. Now, I'm not a massive blazer girl, but when I saw this on the site, and I think I saw it on their Instagram as well, I just went mad for it. I, I knew that this blazer was going to be amazing. It's the perfect piece that I actually don't already own. So it's a blazer, but I'd also kind of put this in the category of outerwear. It is quite thick. It's a heavy wearing, heavy duty one. So I'd, I'd kind of say this is somewhere between a coat and a blazer, which does make it the perfect kind of transitional piece. Now this blazer wasn't cheap. It was £159, but I think when it comes to things like outerwear, so blazers, jackets, coats, it is worth spending a little bit more. And the quality of this is so gorgeous. It's a wool blend. Um, so it's a wool blazer and it does have that slight texture of wool but um, it's also got this beautiful lining inside of it this really nice satin lining so it feels incredibly comfortable to wear it's not itchy in the slightest which is great the other little details that it has are these buttons which I've just actually noticed so this was nothing to do with uh, the influencing of buying this, but the buttons are tortoise shell. I knew this was gonna be uh, just a perfect addition to my wardrobe. The color of it is such a perfect kind of neutral beige. It's not warm tone, it's not cool tone. It's right in the middle. And uh, I think because of that, it's just gonna go with so many pieces. And I think this is gonna be the perfect item to kind of take a lot of the summery pieces I have and uh, make them way more wearable for winter just by layering this on top. And then also in summer, I think it's gonna be a really great little throw on piece. So happy with this. I'm really, really glad that I managed to pick this one up. And I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I also wanted to get a pair of jeans. Now these uh, jeans and another story jeans in general are so well fitting. I feel like they just do jeans so right. They are slightly confusing because they're in European sizing generally, but once you've kind of worked your head around that, they, they are great. So the pair I got are a mid-rise straight style and uh, they are very straight leg. They don't taper down too much, although they are slightly slimmer towards the ankle, but I really have been looking for a pair of jeans like this and a pair of jeans that actually look relatively good. I really have been quite into this style of a very tubey straight leg jeans, something that just kind of does go straight down. I feel like a lot of the straight leg jeans on the high street at the moment are kind of more on the skinnier side, whereas these I think definitely are a very classic vintage looking style straight leg. They're not quite a mum jean, um, but they are just the sort of cut I've been looking for. They're also um, a light blue, 
wash which is a really nice one it's not too bleached it's not too dark i think it's hard to find the right wash when it comes to jeans especially the wash that you like and that kind of fits best with the color palette that you have in your wardrobe and the things that you like to wear this color of blue is i think just a universally flattering one so it's going to go with so many things this is also a non-stretch cotton which i love i feel like it took me so long to realize that the best pairs of jeans are in a non-stretch and there are so many unfortunately that do come with some kind of elastic in the more stretchy material um, and I think it's just not the way to go. I think when it comes to jeans, the less flexible, the better. Now you may think that's gonna be the most uncomfortable thing ever to wear in, but they're really, really not. They hug everything in the right places and they don't tend to get too baggy over time. The more you wash them, they just kind of shrink back in again. I really am interested to see the way boots are gonna look with these. I think a nice pair of um, ankle hugging boots, maybe slightly more smart, are gonna look great with them. They're kind of gonna contrast quite well. And then also I think you could turn these up and I could wear them with my docks. That could be a very cool, uh, way more casual vibe. So yeah, I have high hopes for these jeans for sure. So the final piece I have is this gorgeous, gorgeous little bit of knitwear. Now I know you guys always get quite freaked out when I show you these uh, things in hauls and I have them on hangers. Don't worry, I do not hang my knitwear and neither should you. This is purely to show you all because yes, I don't want to be stretching out my shoulders. So this is a gorgeous jumper with so many different details to it. It's a really beautiful oatmeal. It's quite a nice warm tone beige. It's so, so perfect. When you're looking for a neutral colored jumper, I don't think they could have found a better shade. This is another wool blend. Um, so it does have that slightly more woollier texture to it, as do most of the Another Stories uh, knitwear pieces. And I think that's just because they are made of a better quality material, um, which is definitely reflected in the price, that's for sure. This one was 79 pounds. So definitely it was on the steeper side of the price that I usually do pay for knitwear. However, I have come to notice, especially with these and other stories jumpers, that they are so easy to wear. They are so breathable, so comfortable. They wash amazingly well. They never kind of bead up or start to sort of disintegrate like some uh, jumpers can do. And I think when it comes to a piece like this, which is something very neutral and something that I can see myself wearing with a ton of different outfits, it is maybe worth investing that little bit more in it. So this one has a really, really gorgeous high neck. It's actually super, super high. So you could have it rolled all the way up, nice and cozy, nice and warm. I also quite like the way this one tucks down. Usually I'll tuck my Rolex inside, but I do like how this one folds over and then has this slight little bit of a ribbing underneath. I quite like that detail. It also has this here at the bottom and on the sleeves. The cuffs are very similar to the neck and that they fold over. And I really like the way a folded cuff looks underneath things. So if I tuck this under a coat and let the cuffs pop out, I think that's a really interesting, cool little look. This jumper also has um, some ribbing on the side here. It just has this little detail on each side and at the back there. And I think that just kind of breaks up a lot of this big massive jumper it's a good little detail and i think it works well this also is definitely a really great length it's not cropped by any means but it's also not too long sometimes when jumpers are too long you don't really get the option of tucking them in as well as leaving them long so this one works for both i think that's always uh, the mark of a good jumper when it's just the right length and yes all good things to be said about this so those are the four pieces that i picked up and now I'm gonna try and show you how I'm gonna incorporate them into different outfits. I feel like altogether they make an amazing outfit too, so I'll probably try them on like that. But also how um, some of these pieces are gonna work well with a lot of things that I already own. So let's go ahead and get into that. So this is the first outfit that I'm gonna show you. This is everything that I just talked about all thrown in to one. So we've got the blazer, the jumper, and the jeans on too and i also have behind me here the handbag too so this is how it all looks i haven't actually put any shoes on yet but i do like this a lot so let's talk through each thing quickly the blazer you can see has a really nice oversized fit but it's not too big it's still very flattering and very easy to wear um, and just looks really nice on so the color of this i just love i also like how it looks with this slightly darker oatmeal color of the jumper. Just gonna take that off quickly so I can show you how it looks on its own. Um, again, this is really well fitted. It's a nice jumper, such a big, cozy roll neck. I really, really like this about it. I've just got it tucked in at the moment, but if I untuck it, you can see 
that the length on this is really good. It's a really nice length. It also doesn't get too long at the back. It's very similar straight cut across, which I like as well. And yeah, it's uh, it's just a really, really good little jumper. Love the sleeves as well, these nice like cuffed sleeves. And then the jeans. So let's uh, have a little look at these. You can see what I mean about them being slightly more vintagey style. They've got that really cool straight cut all the way down. So they kind of have that bit of bagginess around the knee, but I really like the way that looks. I think they will always look better <laughs> once I've got shoes on. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with these. They're very kind of fitted and nice around the waist here. They actually have uh, a button up instead of a zip, which I always find makes trousers look better. I don't know why. I just always prefer jeans that come with a button-up fly, so that's really cool. So I've just put on a few accessories now. I've got my Chloe test bag here, which has got a really nice chunky crossbody strap. Um, I've got my Celine edge sunglasses, and then I've just gone with a pair of Supergars. These are one of my favourite pairs of shoes for just a really casual, easy trainer vibe. They're slightly off-white, which I think makes them look really cool. And then the whole outfit kind of comes together and is just very casual, casual and cosy, but still quite cool. I think the big chunky strap of the bag adds a lot to that. Um, and then the turtleneck kind of popping through. Yeah, I just really like this outfit. And this is how I would style these pieces if I was just doing a very kind of simple laid back sort of look. So then I've just swapped out two things. I've changed the sunglasses for the hairband. I always feel like these little Alice bands make everything look a bit more fancy. And I have swapped my shoes. So I've got my Zara boots on now. I've just got the same handbag too, but I'm gonna wear this from the top handle. The black shoe is a black bag. And then the black Alice band, I think, work together really nicely. And they kind of just bring this whole look up a bit. So now the really casual looking jeans, casual jumper and blazer. I think it's just a little bit more something just by swapping out those few accessories. Um, I definitely love the way that these boots look with these jeans. I think the big straight cut at the bottom with the slightly longer boots just sort of disappearing up into them is really, really cool. I like that vibe a lot. Do you like that vibe too? Good, I hope so. Also I think you could do something really similar, um, but just keep it really simple with a plain black tee underneath. This is one from H&M, one of the H&M basic tees that I love. So easy to pair with any outfit. I mean, a t-shirt and jeans outfit is my absolute go-to, so I think just throwing on this nice oversized blazer and then these boots, of course, which I probably would have worn with this outfit anyway, is really cool. Also, I think this would be the bag that I would wear with this outfit, the little beaded bag. I think that kind of goes together with everything nicely. And then I've just swapped out the blazer for a leather jacket to do an all black look. So I think this color of jean goes so well with an all black look. You could do a black coat instead of a uh, leather jacket, but I think this works so well. This is kind of a bit of a cool evening -y outfit for me. I'm such a casual person when it comes to going out and dressing up. I do usually most of the time just wear jeans, but I think you cannot go wrong with throwing a leather jacket onto something. It just really gives an outfit a little bit more of a I tried look. It just pulls everything together without fail. So uh, yeah, I like this outfit now with these nice straight jeans, black boots um, and then the slightly more like cropped form fitted jacket that just works well with this bagginess down here. I like this outfit a lot. This is definitely something I'd wear out on a Friday night, things like that. So I'm sticking with that all black and then one piece of color vibe. And this time I'm gonna do it with the blazer. So I still have the H&M black tee on, but I've just paired it with this uh, satin slip skirt, which is from Urban Outfitters. Slip skirts are so universally wearable and I, I just love the way they look with anything. So this outfit is uh, no exception. Um, I think it almost looks a little bit like I've got a dress on here because I've gone for a black top and a black skirt but then I've also uh, got the black boots on there I might break up the color a little bit with the beaded bag I think that could be quite cool and because uh, the blazer is that slightly more um, oversized masculine fit I think when you pair it with something a bit more feminine like a slip skirt like this um, it just kind of balances everything out and it makes it look a little bit more cool and not so uh, dressed up also then pairing that with the exact same outfit but just changing up some of the accessories. I've gone back to my Supergas, I've got my Chloe test bag on again um, and I've swapped out the headband. And then instantly this is a way more kind of like chilled, laid back kind of vibe. Um, I think trainers work so well with slip skirts and this color fits in really well with the blazer so it's still almost kind of like a monochrome kind of outfit with the two colors, the black and then the off-white. So uh, yeah, this is another way that I would wear a slip skirt with this, with the trainers 
and then the blazer. So I could also then just uh, throw the jumper back on with this same outfit. And you've got pretty much what we started with, just with the skirt swapped out for the jeans. So we still have that really like cozy, warm, laid back vibe. I think the jumper together with the blazer in this big across body strap bag uh, just gives a really nice simple look like that i like this a lot so if you wanted to go for something completely monochromatic and a nice like all neutrals outfit then i would pair these two the blazer and the jumper with a pair of light denim so here i just have on my bdg um urban outfitters wide leg jeans which if i'm honest could do with an iron these are one of my favorite pairs of jeans i think they're really cool and um i've also got the little bag on just to break it up with a bit of color i think accessories is where um you can do that really well all these tones uh go to together beautifully this is just my favorite kind of thing to wear um so the dark and knit with the lighter jeans which also on their own are gonna look really good and then the blazer is somewhere in the middle of these two um so it's a nice little piece to wear on top just to sort of bring that all together this might actually be one of my favorites i really like this a lot um i've also got my super guards on with this just to kind of in keep with the whole monochrome neutralness but i think with a pair of black boots too this would look really good and then just a way to break up all that beige if that's too much i've just gone back to the black t-shirt the black bag but i've still got the same shoes trousers and blazer on i think this is kind of cool as well still sticking to two tones um so the black from the t-shirt the black on the bag um but then the same like creamy goodness from the rest of this outfit so yeah this is another one that i really like a lot Okay guys, so that is it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different type of haul. I think it's good when purchasing things these days to think about how they actually do fit into my wardrobe to create something that is gonna be always very cohesive and something that I can always find an outfit from. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna leave you all here. You may have also noticed that this video has gone up on a Friday. What a shock. From now on, I think, everyone cross their fingers. I'm gonna go back to my original schedule of uploading Mondays and Fridays. I've got a lot of things coming up. It's gonna be busy, it's gonna be a big, big old time. But hopefully I'm gonna have so many things to film and so much content to get out that I am gonna be doing Mondays and Fridays from now on. So that's a big happy surprise, big bit of news. So I will hopefully see you again next week on Monday for my next video. And that is it for me today. Bye guys.